Four chefs are about to turn grocery shopping into an extreme sport. Let's meet them. First up, Chris Plum Plummer, private chef and father of three from Newtown, Connecticut. Next, Monica Smith, an executive chef of a large southern church in Gastonia, North Carolina. And then there's Natalie Romero, a private chef and caterer from West Hollywood, California. And last but definitely not least, Nick Wilson, the executive chef of the House of Blues and a brand new dad all the way from Boston, Massachusetts. You will be competing in three, and I mean three very intense culinary competitions. All right. You must make your stir fry dish using no more than five ingredients or less. Oh, yeah. man. On your mark, get set. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. Wow. <laughs> Only five items. Throws me for a loop. What else can I get? I wanted to really push myself. Tofu. So I grabbed tofu to make this into a delicious vegetarian tofu dish. Here we go! Okay, let me make a little pork stir fry and put it inside of a pouch and then fry it. I grab pork belly, red miso paste, and some wonton wrappers all in the same aisle. What's better than that? The game is quite intense. At a certain point, you just have to make decisions. So I'm going to make spicy shrimp veggie stir fry. I grab soy sauce, mixed bell peppers, shrimp, and a frozen vegetable medley. I want as much bang for the buck out of my five ingredients. Let's just do noodles. What in the Sam Hill? Rice noodles. I haven't even worked with rice noodles before, but I want to do something just a little bit different. I got one more. All right, here we go. Let's rock. I'm making tofu stir fry with a grapefruit hoisin sauce. I grab mixed bell peppers, chop them up real fine so that they'll cook quickly. Woo! I am making ginger soy rice noodles with Asian sauteed vegetables. I'm making stir fry in a pouch with a red miso sauce and a broccoli rabe leaf. My tofu has melted away. I am in a lot of trouble. I haven't touched my shrimps. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, you Stay together for me. 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop working. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. Chef Nick. The dish that I've made for you guys today is a poison tofu stir fry with fresh grapefruit sauce. Next up, Chef Natalie. What do you have for the judges? I have a, a spicy shrimp veggie stir fry. Chef Monica. I did a vegetable and rice noodle stir fry, ginger, soy, noodles, and I did Asian inspired sauteed vegetables. Plumber, what do you got for us? What I made for you today was a stir fry in a pouch. It comes down to one of you being checked out. Chef Natalie, sorry, you're checked out. So let the games continue. Now, we are using my personal list. You have 30 minutes to shop. Let's start it in five, four, three, two, one. Go! Don't you get my eggo! I decided that I was making eggo encrusted salmon. Stop it! All right, sour cream. I was last to my station last time. It's not happening this time. Let's make a chili. Veggies. Put it inside the waffle. That's what we're doing. Chocolate. I think I did that in about 16 seconds. All right, let's rock. The other chefs already had started cooking before I got there, so they instantly had that jump start. Roll with it! Chuck, think a little bit of mole sauce. I'm gonna toss that chocolate bar in there, see what we can get out of it. I really wanted it to be a textural thing. Give it a bit of a crunch. Give the salmon something that I can really just boost it up with. Woo, don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. Ten. Nine, eight, ah, seven. Get that sauce on the plate, girl. Four, three, two, one. Stop. Nice job, chefs. First up is Chef Nick. Tell him what you made him. I made a waffle encrusted salmon with roasted smashed potatoes, spicy zucchini, and a honey miso sauce. Okay, Monica, tell us what we got. What you have is a deep fried cinnamon sugar waffle with roasted pork and is an apple cider and rosemary reduction. Last but not least, Chef Plum. I just put chili inside of an Eggo waffle. 
The winning dish for game two is going to go with Chef Nick. Yeah! Congratulations. The chef that will be staying with us will be Chef Plum. Chef Monica, you are checking out. All right, congratulations, Chef Nick, Chef Plum. This is big time. Now, as soon as I mention one of the clues, whichever chef brings me the item first will have the advantage in the final game three. They were invented by a New Jersey minister in 1829. <laughs> <laughs> they are typically broken in half and they're named for their creator, Sylvester Graham. Oh. Graham crackers. <laughs> <laughs> this should be good. <laughs> <laughs> the anticipation's killing me. I find the graham crackers on the bottom shelf and oh. race back. Yes! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, you get the graham crackers, you win the advantage, and oh, are you gonna be happy about this. Awesome. Whew. For your last challenge, you're both going to make a real comfort food, something that is huge comfort food for me. You will have only two minutes to shop. You get the first 15 seconds. Thank you. And the time starts now. All right. Bye, Plum. <laughs> Bye, Look at that Plum. Dude. Really, dude? In this game, every second counts. I am on cloud nine at this point. Chicken. Grab the chicken. Grab the fresh mozzarella. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Shopping at two minutes was absolutely insane. It's grilled chicken with like a basil and yellow pepper cream. I'm not making pasta. If you're gonna make fresh pasta, you've gotta put time into it. 15 seconds. I just started grabbing stuff. Closing time is coming. They're going nuts. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop shopping. Return to your kitchen, start cooking. I had to be, play it cool. She showed up and I made her a chicken pasta with a basil cream. Chef, what do you got going over there? I am actually going to make just some classic chicken parmesan. And where's the pasta? Uh, I'm actually making it. Okay. I realized that I have to get my garlic, my onions, and my celery. Get that nice and sauteed down and nice and aromatic. There's definitely not enough time to make everything we need to make, but that's part of the game. You gotta make it work. 15 seconds. I am adding on a little bit of truffle oil. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm tossing my seared mushrooms on there. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop working. Nice job, chefs. Nice job. Battle. First up, we have Chef Plum with his. It's grilled chicken with like a basil and yellow pepper cream. Chef Nick. All right, um, so for you guys, what I made today was a fresh Parmesan chicken cutlet over fresh homemade pasta um, with white wine butter sauce and sauteed vegetables with a little bit of mozzarella cheese. And a drizzle of? Oh, and a drizzle of truffle oil. The chef has taken the judge's vote in game three in decadent pasta to Chef Plum. We all agreed, you're a guy who cooks purely from your heart. Mm -hmm. You are going to be a rock star. Big yeah. round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Come on, Nick. Nice job. Chef Plum, congratulations. You have won Guy's Grocery Games. Thanks, man. Way to do it, man. Awesome Brother. job. Thank you, guys. Awesome Appreciate job. It. All right, Chef, so here's what I've got for you. On this list are 10 items that you will find here. You have two minutes. Each item you check out on the list, you can put in your cart. is worth $2,000. Grab all 10 before the time is up. $20,000. That's all right. Sound good? Let's do it. Come on. Two minutes on the clock, 10 items in your hand. In three, two, one, go! Go, 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 go! There's people who would kill to be here doing what I'm doing. I need to stay focused. Liquid in a box. Oh, liquid in the box! That's seven items, 14,000 bucks! Six seconds, four, three! I could see quick two. oats, and I just grabbed them. Stop shopping! With the winning shot, quick cooking oats, 2,000 bucks. Liquid in a box, 4,000 bucks. Tonic water is not seltzer water, brother. I'm sorry. Fair enough, dude, fair enough. Everybody has a skill, something they're good at. 6,000 bucks. And mine's always been making people laugh and making people feel comfortable. No one ever picks a big personality out to win. 10,000 bucks. I've always been the guy who's done hard work. You do what you gotta do to get paid, to get the bills paid. And bringing it home, who puts a chicken in a pot for 
$14,000. I just won $14,000. That's awesome. Give it up, Chef Woo! Plum, rocking the house at Guy's Grocery Games. You're the man. Chicken. Keep the chicken. Hi, there chicken. you go. Thank you, Awesome Brian. job. See ya. Woo. We nice job, it. man.